All right, so this video is for anyone who is interested in becoming a cybersecurity analyst. And we'll be sharing everything from how to become a cybersecurity analyst, the skills that you need, certifications, salaries, the career roadmap, and everything in between. So first starting out with what is a cybersecurity analyst and what do they do? So for anyone who's new to my channel, I'm currently working as a security analyst in a software company. And while I do think that the actual expertise of a security analyst is very broad in terms of all the different areas you can go into, your main job will be to analyze, monitor, and prevent cyber threats and attacks. So of course the exact day-to-day -day of what your job will look like will vary depending on the sector and the company that you're working for. But just as an example and based on my personal experience, a lot of your day may be spent on either dealing with security events or specifically potential events or data breaches that may have occurred in your company or whatever assets that you're protecting. It could also be investigating cyber attacks, whether they are affecting your company specifically or companies that are within your sector. It is part of your job to be kept up to date with cybersecurity news, cybersecurity attacks, the the new threats that are out there, the new exploits that are available to attackers. I do think that's definitely one of the biggest parts of the job. And then of course the other parts of your job may include things like answering security questions for another team in your company or maybe a potential client or a customer. You may be dealing with compliance or security audits that happen on a regular basis, especially for smaller to medium sized companies or any companies that are in the health, finance, government space, basically any sector that may be highly regulated or require more compliance certifications. And then of course, a lot of your time may also be dealing with information security procedures or documents or policies, as well as writing security reports for different incidents that may have occurred. So all in all, I feel like it's definitely one of the most exciting jobs out there, especially in tech, because every day is really different. And I think cybersecurity, especially as a cybersecurity analyst, is one of those jobs where you really never get bored because there's always going to be something new happening. And of course, new skills to learn as well as tools to pick up. Every few months or so, I see different articles about new cybersecurity tools and apps that are out there. And I think that just really shows that cybersecurity is a growing field and there's definitely more investments being made in this sector, which also means more jobs for cybersecurity professionals as well as a better career outlook overall. So essentially cybersecurity analysts are the frontline defense for all things related to cybersecurity. You may be working with vulnerability scanners. You may be working with application scanning tools. Maybe one day you're reviewing the vulnerabilities on the OWASP top 10 and then another day you're checking to see if there's any anomalies in a log for you to check if there's something to investigate or maybe you're setting up a phishing test for your company so again every day it really does look different and that brings me into the second section of this video which is how to become a cybersecurity analyst i recommend the simply learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity according to a recent survey with ey validation nine out of ten simply learn learners confirm positive outcomes reinforcing their commitment to delivering world-class highly engaging outcome-driven performance professional upskilling programs designed for success. So the Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity is one of the best programs out there, especially for someone who is looking to become an expert in the field. What I think is the most impressive about this program is the fact that it has modules from MIT as well as EC Council, which both are highly acclaimed in tech as well as in the cybersecurity space. Their next cohort does start soon on September 8th, so I definitely sign up quickly if you're someone who is interested in the program and it's about 5 to 10 hours a week, so it's definitely a very good pace if you're someone who is looking for a flexible cybersecurity program to get into. This is definitely a huge plus of the program. And of course, it is also highly rated. It has 4.5 stars on SwitchUp as well as Course Report. And it also won the Best Cybersecurity Certification Bootcamp in 2021 by Course Report. So what's also amazing about this program is the extra things that you get along with it. For example, you also get a cybersecurity certificate from MIT. You also get access to become part of the MIT CSAIL professional programs to be able to connect with other peers who've taken this program. And of course, the partnership with EC Council, which is a huge one. In my opinion, this is one of the biggest pros of the program. You get access to the learning kit from EC Council, an exam voucher for any certifications that you might want to take in the future, which by the way, EC Council makes many, many of the most popular cybersecurity certifications out there. And exam vouchers themselves already cost hundreds of dollars. And of course, going over actual industry case studies covered by MIT professors. A few other awesome highlights from the course itself are the master classes from MIT faculty, 25 hands-on projects, as well as capstone projects in three different cybersecurity domains, which 
that hands-on experience is so valuable when you actually go on to apply for cybersecurity jobs because they're going to be looking for that real world experience and you get that directly in the cybersecurity program. And the huge plus is six months free access to CEH. Most cybersecurity boot camps don't offer this many resources. So for the cybersecurity certification itself, there is a learning path that they provide you. So starting off with orientation for the program and moving on to designing secure systems, applications, building a hacker mindset, designing and engineering the security posture of an organization, cybersecurity tech application and policy, as well as the cybersecurity capstone project. So this is definitely a very well-rounded course along with an elective for an MIT cybersecurity masterclass. In terms of just the cybersecurity market size for the jobs that are going to be available just within the next few years, there's going to be 37% more job growth for security roles as well as a very high average salary. You can also review their admissions details for submitting applications, the application review process, as well as admissions. To be eligible for the program, you do need a bachelor's degree with an average of 50% or higher marks. You don't need to have a programming background and you also don't need to have prior work experience. They also have admissions counselors if you're looking to apply and maybe have some questions about the process you can always schedule a call with them or book out an appointment the program itself costs three thousand dollars and they also have financing options available and i've mentioned this before but if you saw any of my previous bootcamp videos and you know that most bootcamps are in the ten thousand dollars plus range so this is definitely an awesome program that is also significantly cheaper so if you're interested in signing up for the simply learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity you can check out the link in my description to learn more about the program as well as apply for their upcoming cohort Next, we'll be going over the skills needed for a cybersecurity analyst role. So right off the bat, I would say some of the most important skills out there are scripting skills, incident response, having foundational knowledge on Linux and Windows command line tools, maybe experience with vulnerability scanners or SIEM tools, knowledge in the different compliance controls and framework that are needed for whatever sector that you're trying to go into in cybersecurity, since the compliance frameworks in, let's say, healthcare will be very different from the compliance frameworks in a credit card company. So while I do think a lot of it does come down to your foundational knowledge, a lot of it also goes into the actual tools that you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis. And in my opinion, this also relies on what your personal interests are. For example, if you're starting your career as a cybersecurity analyst, there may be a specific niche that you want to go into. For example, something like malware analysis or digital forensics, or maybe you want to be a security engineer. This will also determine the types of tools that you want to use and the skills that you actually want to learn because the skills that you learn today not only help you in your current job, but it also prepares you for the future job in cybersecurity that you want to go into. Just looking at the long-term cybersecurity career roadmap, which we will also be covering in this video, but knowledge around using tools like Nmap, Burp Suite, Metasploit, Wireshark, while these are primarily tools used for reconnaissance and the red team side of things, there are also tools that you can learn on the blue team side, like different vulnerability scanners, different threat intelligence tools like Maltigo or Shodan, and maybe even cloud security or SIEM tools. So I know this is a large list of skills and tools to learn, but I really do think that once you start learning them and picking them up, you'll start to notice the tools that you start to gravitate towards and maybe the areas in cybersecurity that you start to get more interested in. And honestly, I would say let that lead the way for your career path in cybersecurity. All right, next up, I want to touch on cybersecurity salaries. So this is definitely one of the hot topics in cybersecurity. In general, I do think that cybersecurity analysts have a very good starting salary as well as average salary across the board. Of course, the actual salary varies depending on what website that you're looking on. So I'll be listing out a few of those salaries just to give you guys an idea of the salary range for a cybersecurity analyst. A cybersecurity analyst on ZipRecruiter makes about $99,000 per year on average. On Glassdoor, a cybersecurity analyst makes about $77,000 per year on average in the US. And on Payscale, a cybersecurity analyst makes about $77,000 per year. And then on Coursera, a cybersecurity analyst makes about $103,000 per year. So obviously this is a pretty wide range. On average, I would say about seventy dollars to $90,000 is the range for a cybersecurity analyst salary. And that is a lot more than the average US household income. So considering you can become a cybersecurity analyst without an advanced master's or PhD degree, I think this is definitely a very good tech salary, especially considering future salary growth as you go further down your career. Which brings me nicely to my next topic, which is the career roadmap for a cybersecurity analyst. 
So typically for anyone working in cybersecurity, the primary split that you'll notice is that there are people who are interested more so in the blue team or in the red team. And of course, when you bring them together, you do have the purple team, which is the blue team and the red team working together. But there are also roles called purple teamers who are dedicated, in which case they work both with the red team and the blue team. But if you notice that you're someone who likes to analyze the data, check the logs, look out for different alerts, essentially, basically the defensive side of cybersecurity, then you would be leaning towards the blue team. And then on the other side of that, if you realize that you're someone who likes hacking things, likes to break into things, maybe you like to problem solve and try to exploit some applications or websites vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Maybe you like doing capture the flags and doing different try hack me's and hack the box challenges. If that's the case, then you'll likely be leading towards the red team or the offensive security side. And of course, there are roles that aren't in specifically the red team side or the blue team side. For example, a role like compliance or governance, even security auditing. These are roles that are kind of in between. You may also want to eventually be a security manager and not exactly be hands on with the work, but you might want to lead cybersecurity teams or cybersecurity projects. So in terms of a complete cybersecurity career roadmap, I would first decide whether or not you're interested more so in the red team or the blue team side, or if you're somewhere in between, maybe you want to do governance. Maybe you don't necessarily want to be in the technical side of cybersecurity and you prefer doing something like security auditing or compliance, which are still very important roles in cybersecurity. So if this video hasn't convinced you enough, why should you become a cybersecurity analyst or why should you work in cybersecurity in the first place? The global cybersecurity market size is estimated to reach 281 billion by 2027. And that is a lot of cybersecurity jobs that are going to need good cybersecurity professionals to fill them. And with more and more of the world coming online, building applications, having websites, just being on the internet in general, they're going to need a lot more cybersecurity professionals to be able to manage different cybersecurity risks and exploits and also to protect them from malicious hackers. Cybersecurity in general has awesome salaries, awesome benefits, as well as great job security, which if you're interested, I did make a video on whether or not cybersecurity is recession proof and I'll link that video in the description. And just speaking from my own experience, as someone who's been working in cybersecurity for a bit over three years now, I do think it's one of the best tech careers out there with continuous learning as well as great career trajectories. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity in the description as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.